In this lesson, we are going to make a few games using Ruby programming language and go to 2D library, game library. Before we start making the games, we'll concentrate on just making things move, understanding uh, the basic uh, trigonometry used uh, in making objects move around a gaming stage. Okay, so open up your terminal and uh, or your console and tap ruby-v. If you're on uh, a Mac machine, you should have Ruby pre-installed. If not, you can go to Ruby installer and download or go to Rails installer and choose uh, the system here. You see Ruby comes bundled uh, with Rails installer. Alternatively, you can use um, RVM, uh, Ruby version manager, uh, to install the right version. I've made a folder uh, which I've cd into, making things move, is blank at the moment. Um, what I want to do is say bundle in it, okay? So this will create a gem file for us. It says that's it there, gem file. Um, so we could edit this gem file. I'll use Vim, you could use Sublime if you want. And say gem gosu. So gem file allows us to install things in our gem file. So once I've done that, so I can say bundle or bundle install. Okay, so this will install it for you. I've done this already, so I'm not going to do it, but you can, you can do it. So gem env gives me a list of uh, gems or the path where the gems are installed. So copy that and cd or change directory into it and list and cd into gems and then list everything in there and you can see um, down somewhere it will have go sue um, 0872 is um, downloaded for us so I'm going to CD back into making things move and in here I'm going to create a new file um, called this bounce.rb okay for Ruby okay so let's open this up again I'll use Vim to open it up and we can start writing some codes in here so the first line I'll put uh, require go to and then I'll create a new class and I'll say class game inherits from uh, go to window okay line four I'll define initialize method the first method called and I'll set an instance variable called width which is the width of our game window and I'll put a height for the game window for 400 so super we'll call the initialize method uh, for go to window and we we'll give it a width and a height and with some default settings uh, to false okay so now we say game.new and we'll call the show method of game and that's all we need to get things rolling so ruby space uh, bounce.rb is how we call this method okay so now this is this is what we we produce our gaming window 800 width and 400 height right so th there are some other methods that we need so I'm going to add defined um, update so this method is called 60 times a second and then we have a draw method as well so the update method is very very useful because that's where we make things move it's called like I said 60 times a second so if I say puts hello and that's it so we're trying to print hello onto the screen so this will print hello in the background uh, lots and lots of it so it's, it just carries on printing hello 60 times uh, a second okay so this is where we'll stop in this uh, introductory into making things move using gosu and ruby programming language in the next lessons uh, we'll um, add a ball class and we'll make it move. So I'll see you in the next lesson.